we started setting up the surveillance program uh, using the Global PPS tool to understand what's happening. We now have a good basis, we have a good network and the network keeps on growing and it will continue to grow, so that's great. But I think we have a good basis and that will allow us to develop an e-learning module. Uh, that's going to be the next step in 2019. And so therefore we have enough information to uh, let's say, analyze the data to present robust data and uh, to help the hospitals uh, to improve antibiotic prescribing. The next step would be, over the next three to five years, is to develop a very interactive web uh, program where people can make their own maps, where they can look at world data, they can compare themselves to the rest of the world, the rest of the continent, to other hospitals in the same country. Uh, they can look at any data, let's say looking at if I work in an oncology unit, how are antibiotics prescribed in uh, cancer patients in my hospital compared to my country, compared to my region, compared to the rest of the world. So it's wonderful if we have a rich database, the kind of things that we could produce. And we already have data for more than 200,000 patients in the database. It will continue to grow. And as it grows more and more and more, we will be able to develop these very interactive uh, programs.